there will be more things coming that's more positive for this planet, okay? Wow. More positive, more upward, more enlightened, more peaceful, and more uh, loving and kind, yeah? Yes. We'll be everywhere. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic or Lassis also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Felices saludos benevolentes televidentes. Mi nombre es Ricardo desde Heredia, la magnífica Costa Rica. Costa Rica, que significa Costa Rica en español, es conocida como la joya de América Central. Esta pacífica nación fue el primer país del mundo en abolir su ejército. Una república democrática con una fuerte constitución es considerada uno de los países más estables de Centroamérica. Los recursos de Costa Rica incluyen suelos fértiles, abundantes lluvias y bosques que contienen ricas plantaciones de ébano, balsa, caoba y cedro. Así como más del 25% de Costa Rica se compone de bosques protegidos y reservas. Más de 1300 especies de orquídeas se encuentran en este hermoso y exuberante país. La vida silvestre es abundante e incluye pumas, jaguares, ciervos, monos y aves, entre las cuales están el quetzal, el guacamayo y el tucán. Célebre por su belleza natural y sus cordiales habitantes, Costa Rica ha estado implementando activamente políticas que respetan el medio ambiente. Es un placer presentarles brevemente a la espléndida Costa Rica. Oramos para que el amor de Dios se desborde en sus vidas. Durante más de tres décadas, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai ha iluminado nuestro mundo con sus enseñanzas divinas. Una maestra totalmente iluminada imparte el método Quan Yin de meditación a aquellos que desean descubrir inmediatamente la naturaleza de Dios interna y alcanzar en una vida la liberación eterna del ciclo de la transmigración. El método Quan Yin ha sido practicado por todos los maestros iluminados, tales como Buda, Jesucristo, el profeta Mahoma, la paz sea con él, y Guru Nanak, y muchos más. Ella enfatiza que si siempre recordamos a Dios, ofrecemos servicio desinteresado a otros y seguimos las leyes del universo, alcanzaremos nuestro potencial más elevado como humanos y comprenderemos verdaderamente nuestro propósito en la tierra. La maestra suprema Ching Hai 
es un extraordinario ejemplo viviente de compasión enviando frecuentemente asistencia material y financiera, además de amor a los refugiados, a los desamparados, a las víctimas de desastres naturales y a otros que necesitan ayuda. En el 2006, ella recibió el Premio Guzzi de la Paz, considerado el Premio Nobel de la Paz de Oriente, y ha sido honrada a través de los años con otros numerosos premios y galardones por sus excepcionales obras filantrópicas y humanitarias. Una verdadera voz para nuestros preciosos amigos animales. Ella promueve la pacífica y amorosa dieta a base de plantas y prevé con el despertar de la humanidad hacia lo sagrado de todas las vidas. Un tranquilo y glorioso mundo completamente vegano, donde los animales y las personas vivan en dichosa armonía. Sus iniciativas para difundir la tendencia vegana son diversas y han incluido la distribución del volante de vida alternativa, la cadena internacional de restaurantes veganos Loving Hat, Supreme Master Television, además de hablar regularmente con influyentes líderes de gobierno y medios de comunicación y participar en conferencias televisadas sobre el cambio climático, tanto si somos conscientes de ello como si no. Sus esfuerzos han tenido una enorme influencia sobre la conciencia mundial del estilo de vida amigable con los animales y de cómo esta benévola forma de ser puede traer paz duradera entre las naciones a la vez que salvamos nuestro planeta del cambio climático. A lo largo de los años, la maestra suprema Chin Hai ha viajado por todo el mundo, desde las Américas hasta África, desde Europa hasta Oceanía y ha ofrecido cientos de discursos al público y a sus discípulos sobre una variedad de temas espirituales. Hoy somos bendecidos con la presentación de una reveladora teleconferencia titulada Se acelera el progreso y la evolución de nuestro planeta con los poderes de Dis. Divinity. Teleconferencia con la maestra suprema Ching Hai y el personal de Supreme Master TV parte 3 de 5 en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos, dada en inglés el 29 de agosto del 2018. Master, you mentioned that um, masters in general usually cannot remember their past lives, but you yourself were able to remember your past lives when you were even young, even up to eight years old, you were able to remember your past lives. How is that um, when other masters are not able to? Yes, because I took up the body. I did not have to go through the nine months period, and I did not go through the process of rebirth, and so I did not have to go through the negative uh, door to to take up this uh, po po potion of forgetfulness. Okay. Yes. 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 And uh, the saints before me have cleaned up the karma of the body already. So when. I enter the body is uh, mostly clean, so I remember things. But many of the human beings also remember things, up to four or five years old, okay? Yes. yes. Up to five years old, I remember things, some of them. And eight years old, uh, I remember only one thing. <laughs> At that moment only, I, I just tell you a secret. Thank you, Master. <laughs> uh, when I... I was eight years old. I read one of the newspapers somewhere, discarded on the floor. Yeah? Yes. Or, or a book. I can't remember. Is it a book or is it a, or is it a newspaper? It's a long time. Um, I, I did not think much about it. That's why. It says something like, uh, um, a being will be born in Asia. You know, we are here in Asia. And that being is a child now, eight years old. Wow. And that being... That child is going to save the world. So I say, it's me. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> a year's old kid. <laughs> so, of course, and after that, I forget completely until until now, okay? Oh, until wow, reason wow. now, yeah. But I said that not proudness or surprising or just joke or anything like that. You know, it's just a matter-of-fact type. I remember that, okay? 
Yes, yes master. master. I'm just eight years old. How can you pretend or be pretentious or joking or anything like that? Understand me? Yes, yes master. master. Yeah. Master, we see on uh, Supreme Master TV nowadays the new series, the Ancient Predictions, and we can see that there are many uh, predictions that were foretold a long time ago that um, lead to this time on the planet and to Master's appearance. And is is this a special time for the Earth that the karma of the planet allows this information to come forth now, Master? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, we, uh, I mean, the heavens, <laughs> the goddesses, uh, have smashed this controlling machine, and mm. some people became more enlightened. Wow. You know, naturally, and many souls are free, understand me? Free to remember and to have choice, yeah? Before they're shackled under this uh, control, and they cannot choose anything. They just have to be reborn again and again and again. And if they keep the five precepts, they don't kill anybody, they, they're clean, then they can be reborn with a good good uh, background, you know, uh, like maybe rich or famous or doing things that is not so suffering, yeah? Mm-hmm. Or don't have to undergo suffering or doing things that is not so harmful to themselves and others. They just keep going around, around in a merry-go-round circle with their own karma. You understand me? Yes, Master. Under the mercy of, uh, you know, what they call in France, a la merci of number of the qua, number of the key, you know, this kind of uh, controlling uh, entities from other planets and their uh, machine and their uh, subordinate. Okay? Mm. Yes, it's now they are free. It's just the Maya is not machine. That is a problem. The Maya is there, of course, for some purpose. And the Maya is just a force you have to reckon with. And sometimes it's really a nuisance. It's really bad. Sometimes I'm so angry. <laughs> but the arrangement is like that. Any master go down, I have to take the positive energy, the strongest possible from the fifth heaven, yeah? Or from the shadow world, heaven, and have to take the strongest possible negative force. You see? Also from the shadow world, heaven. You understand that? Yes. yes. So these two powers will always contradict each other to make the master's life hell and suffering. But that's the price, okay? Yes, master. The price to pay for the human uh, sin, truly. It's not just the disciples, it's the world sin. If a stronger master, then take on karma of the world more. If it's just a, uh, a normal master, then take on the disciple karma. It's a little bit, of course, you can never say clean cut, they're only disciples, you understand? Yes, Master. Because also they have relatives, yeah? They have loved ones, they have friends, they have enemies, all this accounted in, you see? Yes, Master. Master, the controlling machines that were smashed on our planet, was it just for our planet or has it for other planets throughout the universe as well? Just our planet, because they only dump it here. Okay? Yes, other planets have other planet problems. Okay? <laughs> they have other problems due to their negative tendency or the Maya, understand? Yes, master. If there is a Maya force there, then they have to deal with that. Okay? Yes, master. But the machine and the controlling is only here uh, from, from one of the controlling planets. You understand me? They used to come here and uh, take up our resources, yeah? Yes, Master. And uh, some soul to bring it up, to work for them, and they dump some of the bad, uh, bad uh, so-called, they, for them, you know, for them, they call it bad element, they dump it here. You got that? Yes, yes Master. So our planet is a mixture of being, okay? Some good, some bad. And the, the bad one, not necessarily bad, okay? They just, it's bad for that planet. Okay, for the controlling one, they wanted everything the way they want it. Okay, if anybody have new idea, different idea, or do against them, then that's no good. They will exile them to this planet. Okay. Yes, master. Yes, master. Because at, at that time, this planet not yet so populated, and there were no master or nothing here. Okay, just a small heavenly beings that have no power against them. Yes, yes master. Is this is this helping? Um, 
the human population to become more aware. We see in the news and in media the people are becoming more aware of themselves, their purpose, the planet, and in general becoming more awakened, more veganism, more vegetarian and health, healthy trends. It seems to be opening up more and more now. Is this also due to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a surge yes. of upward tendency, you know, for human. Yeah? Yes, Even some unexpected event, you know, like people don't import meat anymore, people don't import livestock anymore or export livestock anymore because of concern for animal suffering, etc. This never heard of before. No. <laughs> Not openly like this, you know what I mean? That's Even awesome. posted on internet for everyone to see leaders of the world, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Government, so. openly, yeah? Yes. And proud of it even. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, Master. Yeah, and the whole government is back in uh, uh, meatless meat uh, industry. You see what I mean? Having contract with, uh, uh, how you say, uh, artificial meat, yeah? Yes. Meatless meat um, industry to for, for import into their country, etc. Yeah, okay? Yes, Master. Some country even uh, propose our rights uh, religious belief, even though before they didn't. You got what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Supporting religions, religious belief and practice. You know what I'm saying, right? Okay. Yes, yeah. uh, and many more, many more, many more, many more things. There will be more things coming that's more positive for this planet. Okay? Wow. More positive, more upward, more enlightened, more peaceful, and more um, loving and kind. Yeah? Yes, we'll be everywhere. Yeah. Thank all the gossip, huh? <laughs> well, what can a person like me do in anything, huh? Mm. Just a fragile old woman, huh? Mm. You think I can do anything? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> my high soul, yes. My high soul and my highest soul can do. Uh, with the help of the goddess, yeah? Okay? Yes, Master. And it, it's been so fast, Master. Is is it just a build-up of the work that you've done over so many years? Because for 20 years, it seemed like it was improving a little bit. But then all of a sudden, it's just boom, and everything has changed so quickly. Yeah, well, everything has to build up to the momentum, you know? The power uh, has to be gathered, yes? Yes, Master. It takes tremendous power. Yes, Master. And... Even if I want to gather them, I have to do stepwise, or the body will perish. Got that? The yes, power. Yes, Even some of these retreats, I almost die. You don't know it. Oh. Yes. Of course, my heart is beating like oh, more than what the doctor told you uh, that day. <laughs> That's nothing. That was nothing. Yeah, compared to some of the time that I had to go through to some power, yeah? Yes. Maybe it was my fault. I sit one second or one split second too long. Wow. Or sometimes because of too much meditation, I forgot the time. I sit too too soon, too soon into some certain area that I should wait a few more hours. Like only after six hours, then I can sit back there again. I forgot the time and I forgot to look at the the clock. I could sit continuously meditating, but not in that spot. And then in this, um, uh, my set of uh, continuous meditation, I just go and sit there. And then I get a jolt <laughs> of stuff. Yeah, a jolt of this energy. And then it reminds me that it's not time yet. Okay? Yes, Master. Or sometimes I sit a little too long. Even one split nana second too long. Okay? Wow. It will harm the body. Even the gods were yelling, out! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they practically kicked me out. <laughs> yeah, and it was so blooming loud, and I said, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> so loud, so loud. Like thunder in your ear, imagine? Yeah. Yes, that they master. yell. Normally, they don't dare yelling too loud like that, yeah? Yes, master. They talk, but they're not too loud, you know? Just normal talk, yeah? Yes, yes, or yes. just give message, yeah? Like you do SMS? Yes. yes. Or email, yeah? 
They don't ever yell so suddenly like that, okay? Yes, not yes, so yes. loud. Okay. Uh, did I answer your question? If not, you can continue asking in the same direction, okay? Yes, Master. Thank you. Master, uh, you mentioned that earlier only one being has been to the original universe. So compared to the uh, fifth level masters, uh, does it mean this unique being has brought down much greater, much all-encompassing power to benefit the whole universe? Well, you can say that. You can say that, yes. And, and that's the reason why we witness so many uh, positive uh, change and uh, peaceful progress happening in our world so quickly that have never happened in our history. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Actually, some of the master also predict like the Allied master Ben Bensa, don't know? Yes, he said master. that there will be a tremendous power yes. coming to our world, uh, already coming, yeah? When he said that, you remember the, his prediction? Yes, master. Even in his time, he, he saw it already, okay? Yes, master. And some other prediction also mentioned similar. Or more or less, okay? I think I don't remember a lot of these predictions, but uh, you can mm, refer to them, okay? Yes, yes master. Master. Queridos televidentes, gracias por acompañarnos en el programa de hoy titulado Se acelera el progreso y la evolución de nuestro planeta con los poderes de Dis. Divinity. Teleconferencia con la maestra suprema Ching Hai y el personal de Supreme Master TV, parte 3 de 5, en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos. Por favor sigan sintonizados a Supreme Master Television para una programación más positiva. A continuación sigue entrevista con el Rabino Rami, parte 1 de 2 en palabras de sabiduría. Que experimenten el amor de Dios en todo lo que hacen. May you experience God's love in all you do. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.